Now the opposite to interest on favorable balance will be interest on unfavorable balance. Now this is when the business has a negative bank balance at the bank. So this means that the bank has the right to debit the business's account with interest and the result of that would mean that the business's bank account will decrease even further when the business has a negative bank balance is called an overdraft now on the 15th the bank charged us interest of 690 dollars on our unfavorable balance now an alternative transaction can be charged interest on our debit balance remember credit balance will be favorable balance debit balance will be unfavorable balance so this will affect our cash book again and again we would need to enter the amount in the bank column so the two accounts we can identify will be interest on overdraft and bank so our bank balance is fifty thousand million dollars and after the bank debited our account with six hundred and ninety dollars our bank balance reduced to forty nine thousand three hundred and ten dollars and previously we did not have an account for interest on overdraft but after the bank debited our account our interest on overdraft increased to six hundred and ninety dollars so our bank decreased and our interest on overdraft increased so our bank is an asset and since our asset is decreasing we would enter that on the credit side and our other account will be our interest on overdraft and since our interest on overdraft is an expense it's increasing we would enter that on the debit side now let's go ahead and process this transaction so first what we need to do will be to open our interest on overdraft account then we would credit our cash book with six hundred and ninety dollars which we will enter in the bank column the description in the details column will be interest on overdraft and since we are crediting our cash book this means that we are paying out money and then we would debit our interest on overdraft account with six hundred and ninety dollars and the description in the details column will be bank and then this will complete our double entry process.